So here is this code on Python Tutor. On line one, notice that we start with this hash symbol. This is a comment. And this means a statement that is ignored by Python Tutor. When I click on Visualize Execution, you would normally expect the red arrow to start on line one. But when we click on this visualization, observe where the red arrow actually starts. So the first two statements are simply assigning some initial values to x and y. x is initialized to the float object 7.5 and y is initialized to the integer object minus 12. Then we have a blank line which is also ignored. Then we have a comment which will also be ignored. And then we want to swap these values. This is the code that our friend was looking at. Let's click on Visualize Execution and observe how this code actually runs. Notice that the red arrow starts not at line 1 but at line 2 because line 1 is merely a comment. So it is ignored. So we click on Next and of course this creates this float object 7.5 and it labels that object with the variable x. I am using the non-default visualization to make it clear. Now we're ready to do this second assignment statement. Evaluate the right hand side, that is the integer object minus 12 and assign the vari variable y to that object. And now we just want to cross these over, we want to swap these values. We want x to refer to the int and we want y to refer to the float. And our friend thinks that these two assignment statements should do the job. Think about very carefully what is going to happen when we click on next. So let's click on next. We're going to do this assignment statement. Remember what it means. We have to evaluate the right hand side. The right hand side is a variable. So what does it mean to evaluate y? It means identify the object that it currently labels. So we're going to evaluate the right hand side as this integer minus 12. And now the assignment statement says move the label x to this object. But the label x is currently labeling the float. So when we click on next, nobody is labeling the float. So the float has disappeared. Where did it go? Well, since nobody was labeling it, Python Tutor is just clearing it away from our field of view. Internally, this object is garbage collected. This object is cleared away by an automated process. It may not happen right away, it may be cleared later, but since no variable is labeling that object, Python assumes that it's not needed. And so the memory that, uh, that that object uses is reclaimed. For now, you can see that we have lost the float. And so now this last statement is actually going to have no effect at all. What is the meaning of y is equal to x? Evaluate the object that x refers to, that's this integer object, and move the label y to that object. Well, y is already labeling that object, so clicking on next is going to have no effect. And this does not achieve the swap. In fact, we've lost information. We no longer have access to the floating point value. If this doesn't make sense, do remember that you can go to previous and you can rewind the visualization to any point where you were comfortable. And then you can click on next and proceed with the visualization. I really like this utility Python tutor. I hope you will find it useful for your learning.